I don't think it's the first choice for a lot of girls. You know, and maybe not a band is it the first choice for a lot of girls, maybe a lot of girls singers, but I don't know if they concentrate or think about being in a female band. Fancy, yeah? Hey! Hi there, how are you doing, Jay? John, just me, darling. Just me? Two kisses with kid on the European. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a Scottish people, kid on the European, yes. Today really is, um, we have decided, myself and Dean um, Maynard, decided that it would, it would be good to put a girl band together, maybe in the mould of, um, of what we've done with Busted, but obviously a female kind of version. We were looking at Pink, Avril Lavigne, a kind of young pop band, but with attitude. I like it. <laughs> so named at the moment, so that is going to be the title now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because she always named it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica. I just love to sing, making music, really. That's all I've wanted to do. Couldn't think of doing anything else, to be honest. <laughs> and, 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 and exciting, I think. I actually, I don't have a song actually prepared, because I'm not sure what they want me to do, but I've got a few in my head. So I'll kind of sense the tone of what they want and then just pull something out of the bag, I hope. A certain look, who, I think what we're going for for this group, but also the passion, because there's so many people who might just go, oh, I want to do it for something to do. I want to be famous. Like the people who go on X Factor who want to be famous. We want people who have real passion for music and want to put everything into this. Um, <laughs> So you're, you're a drummer? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. So I'm, I'm also. A drummer? Oh, no, I don't drum. Oh, something I, I thought you were doing then. Right. Um, and I sing and I go to a stage school. Right. So I perform all over the North East. I think, I think that the, the, the pop market now could do with a really, really exciting band. So, so this is our aim is to try and, and, and see going up and down the country, see if we can find uh, the raw talent to then put that into the mix and then come up with this uh, exciting new band. Um, I've been practicing for a long time. I've practiced a lot of songs, but um, yeah, that's the one that I decided to go with. I've always done musical theater, but knew I wanted to be in a band. Like, I love Hayley Williams and people like that. They're like completely my idols. I love Joan Jett. I'm really nervous because I'm just about to go in an audition and I don't really know what to expect, um, but hopefully they'll, they'll be really nice. <laughs> Girl bands are probably harder to put together, I think. Um, I think for whatever reason, um, maybe there's m more boys are uh, inclined to give it a go, be it a singing boy band, or even if it's a band that play guitars and stuff, you know, boys tend to gravitate more to playing guitars, singing, want to be the rock and roll star, or want to be a pop star. So there tends to be a bigger, a bigger scope to do that. But it's just finding the little gems are out there getting the right combination and, and, and coming up with the right, the right trick across it all. These days age is less of a thing and I think when you see people like Kylie Ray Jackson, uh, Jensen, um, just lots of young young stars, you know, you, you, Justin Bieber's and all that as well, you know, just lots of young stars coming through where, you know, they're the, the, the proper young, you know, like, you know, under 16. Um, and a lot of young bands coming through that, that are you know just 18, 19, really really young teens. So I, I don't think it's. I, I think I think if you're talented and determined, um, you, you will find your way to break through when it's right. I think when when all the combinations of what you what you've been working on come together, whatever age that is, that's when it will work. Oh, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Kid on this is my living room. Take a cup of tea. <laughs> And what we've seen is the fact that the music that they're into is influenced by their parents. So there's been a lot of really soulful stuff, which a lot of them weren't even born when these songs were about. I miss shows like Top of the Pops and The Tube and all these kind of shows that were on when I was growing up, because I think they were more geared towards, you know, maybe artists that write and, and, and play themselves or, or, or um, it was more of a like in a subculture thing coming through, and even in the pop stuff, if it was, you know, from Culture Club and Boy George, which is ultimately pop, but it was kind of sideways pop coming in, or Adam and the Ants, or anything like that. That it would maybe come from a cooler place, um, 
whereas the X Factor, etc., all work, and I think there's a place for it. And obviously, they help break people, and which is great, which would normally never like, never get that chance. So it's definitely, I think, it works from that point of view. It's great entertainment, is the other thing. Um, but I just think I miss those kind of shows that maybe just help encourage, you know, the, the, the real talent that's, that's working themselves to break through. Yeah, um, I think that went all right. I think I couldn't stop talking. So I, I hope that's a good thing. I hope it is. Oh, I don't know. I hope so. Oh. I think we've got, there's a couple that have been really good. Um, you know, the younger ones have been really, really good. But everybody's had passion. There have been some really genuine, nice people, which of course we'd expect a Newcastle, wouldn't we? But even the ones who were nervous, they, they went, got through the nerves and managed to, you know, perform. Yes, I am, yeah. I, I work on the Capital FM breakfast show in the North East, um, which is just up the road. So um, I literally finished the show, like, we had some interviews and stuff, so like, we finished their interviews and then I just came straight here. It's more nerve-wracking in front of them, you've got the cameras on you. And it's more nerve-wracking in front of small people than in front of like yeah. a large, like pub full of people. <laughs> yeah. So, but that right there was probably the <laughs> way harder than anything else I've ever done, and I've done some bad clubs. <laughs> I've done some bad clubs so they don't even look at you. <laughs> all right, but I still sing two songs, so I sung them, um, and it went all right. They were just saying that I've got a nice voice and stuff, so I was quite happy with it. Um, I'm hoping I'll be like okay. Have you got a song picked out? I've got um, two. I've got um, Thinking of You, Katy Perry, and right. um, on the guitar um, for the first time. It's good. Excellent. Good luck. Oh, thank you. But I definitely think there's, there's a great uh, Britain's Got Talent and X Factor. There's, there's a great sport, great entertainment, and it gives people. Ollie Mars has done fantastically well from it. You know. Uh, these two want to get in on it though, but um, yeah. they're the ones that have all the time. Can you hold a guitar? Shaggy girls! There's one girl there I thought was fantastic, she was only 16, she shows great potential. And I think um, for what we're looking for, we're not in a rush to do this, you know, and it's about finding the right people that you can maybe develop, you know, and I think we want to find a younger band that you can teach and, and, and show you know what we would expect and what's expected of them and help them you know and, and develop them into being what, what we need and what, what we need to work in the marketplace so yeah it's de definitely been one or two that, that, that I've seen that I've thought yeah that, that could you know that could definitely work and with a little surprise as well with with them um, with a girl just getting an amazing voice that I don't think will probably work for this but she too I think has got, got a chance of maybe developing in a different direction and um, with a bit of help because people don't know, I think it's apparent, maybe you'll see it yourself from seeing this today, you know, people come in and when they've got no experience in the music industry, they've got no experience in the media and they're just singing or they've just been at college or whatever, they've got no real um, insight into how it works and people need guidance, you know, like I did, like you did, do me, you do. Um, so I think it's up to us to then find, find the people and then develop them and, 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 and teach them and show them. As, but I think that the, and, and the best ones will, will have their own attitude, which you don't want to lose. You want to keep that spark and keep that and just guide them through and getting the best out of them. So, you know, I've been really pleased and this is just, this is the very beginning of this for us. And um, no, so I've been really, really pleased because I've done these things a long, long time now. And sometimes 10 people turn up and you find one little gem Sometimes 400 turn up and you find nothing. The whole day's been a complete waste of time. Um, so it's, it's different, different it, it just depends what, what day, your luck, and, and the right people turning up. But it's been great, it's been really good. Already I've been very, very pleased. So fingers crossed. <laughs> he knows you do. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Oh dear. <laughs> so, so do Dean, what's your connection here? What's, what's the connection? I'm, I'm, I'm managed the girls. Ah, right. Yeah. We're for about, um, about two months now? Yeah. About two months. Hello. But it's, it's sort of been, because um, been, I've been doing talent, it's sort of been doing as much, but now I'm back on, we're doing, we'll be doing a lot more. So, so they're, doing, they're doing fancy auditioning today? No, I'm gonna, I might get them into just introduce them to John and sing in front of John now, just to, so they can all meet him and stuff. Cool. Kill. They're already ready, they're, they're on cocktails. <laughs>
We do it in Germany, yeah, but we've been doing this kind of thing in America and in Stockholm and so it's always about finding great talent. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Yeah, we're going to tell people. Love the dog. Your mum, yeah? That's good to see you. How are you doing, okay? Hi, lovely to meet you. I'm Joy, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Lovely you're, you've done a great job, your daughter is amazing. <laughs> she loves her, she's a superstar. She's an absolute superstar. Well, like, I've, I've scared myself from ever since I did. And it's just like, just an exception. I just love to say that. It's not all right. I 100% want to see you here for sure. And um, we should come up to Glasgow, you will, you will love it up in, in the West End of Glasgow. It's very kind of, it's all great wee boutiques and really cool wee music scene and very vibey. And it's all, the second hand clothes, the second <laughs> shots. Finding great talent, developing it, showing them how it works in a recording studio. Because making a record and singing live is two completely different things. You know, writing songs is another skill that, that again we try and encourage and help bring through. So um, yeah, we've been doing this all around the world and um, to, to, to great success and, and, and having huge amounts of fun while doing it. We make records for a living. That's brilliant. Ha, 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 ha.